Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about java linked hash map class with the help of examples so guys the linked hash map class of java collections framework provides the hash table and the linked list implementation of the map interface so guys we have already seen how the hash table functionality works with the help of hash map class previously and we have also seen how linked list works with the help of a double linked list with the help of examples in the previous videos now guys we are going to see the combination of both these functionalities in a linked hash map class now it extends the hash map class to store its entries in a hash table it internally maintains a doubly linked list among all the entries to order its entries so guys basically this linked hash map it is similar to that of the hash map itself and all the methods that are present in the hash map is also present in the linked hash map now what is the difference we are going to see this with the help of examples as well but the main difference is in this linked hash map there is a doubly linked list that is being used in order to implement its functionality behind the scene and that is the reason it takes little bit more memory compared to the hash map that we have seen previously now linked hash map preserves the order of elements added so this is another added functionality of the linked hash map but it takes more memory due to double linked list implementation so guys let us check this with the help of examples now first of all we are going to create the linked hash map so let us move to the eclipse id and i'll just clear these lines of code that we had written previously so now in order to create a linked hash map we will use the linked hash map class over here so we have linked hash map class and then in the similar way we are going to provide the keys and the values as well guys in this example we are going to take the string as the key data type and the value will be integer so integers will be the values and string representation of those integers will be the keys over here so let us have the name of the object as l h m that represents linked hash map and then we have the new operator followed by linked hash map class over here in order to declare this object now guys in order to add the elements in the linked hash map we are going to use the same method that we had used previously in order to add the elements that is the put method so what we are going to do is we are going to use this object Object that is LHM linked hash map dot we have put method and then over here the key that we are going to provide is the very first key is one and then the value will be one over here similarly I will provide some more values over here now so we are providing some more values over here so over here what I will provide is first of all I'll provide three and then three and then followed by over here we will provide two and then we have the value as two and then over here I'll provide 4 and then we have the value as 4 so as you can see the keys are the string representation of these numbers which are represented as the values in this linked hash map now guys let us try to access the element so in order to access the elements we can either use the object name that is LHM so I'll just print this line of code over here we have print and then we have linked hash map content followed by colon and then we have plus and then we have LHM and then I'll just save this file and try running this code now so that it will print all the combinations of keys and values so as you can see 1 1 3 3 2 2 4 4 so all the keys and values pairs are being printed over here now guys let's say I want to access a particular element let's say I want to access the value of this key that is 2 over here so what I will do over here is I will just provide the print statement over here so we have print statement and then we have value of key equals 2 and then colon followed by LHM and then dot followed by get so guys we use the get method and provide a particular key in order to get the value of that key so I'll use this method and then the key is 2 so I'll just copy this and paste this over here so I have pasted this over here let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see value of key equal to 2 is 2 now guys this has to be same as that of the key and it is case sensitive over here what if we change the value of this key that is provided and we change the t to a lowercase t so in this case this 2 will not match with this 2 over here and what will happen let us save this file and try running this code to see what will happen over here so as you can see value of key 2 
is null that's because we have not provided the value to this key that is using all the lower cases over here if we provide another value so let's say i'll just copy this and paste this over here and i'll provide a value for a key which is having all the lower cases that is 2 and then let's say i provide the value over here as 22 so in this case we should get the value as 22 instead of null so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see value of key equal to 2 is 22 and in this way we can easily access the elements of the linked hash map as well now guys moving to next section that is how do we replace the elements in a linked hash map so guys what i will do is instead of this 3 i will provide the value as 33 over here so what we have to do is we have to use the replace method over here so we have lhm and then followed by dot and then we have something called as replace method so as you can see it takes two parameters that is a key and a value over here so we'll use this first method and we have to provide this key so i'll just copy this from here so that i don't make any mistake and paste this over here and then we have the value as 33 instead of 3 so we are just replacing the value of a key that is represented by 3 the old value was 3 and the new value we want to set as 33 now i'll just provide the content of the linked hash map again so i'll just copy this line of code and paste it over here in order to see the content of the linked hash map so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see linked hash map content 1 is 1 and 3 has become 33 that's because we have replaced the value of this key that is set to 33 over here now apart from this we have all the same values that is 2 4 and 2 equal to 22 and over here as well 2 4 and 2 equal to 22 over here now guys moving to next section how do we remove the elements from the linked hash map so let's say i have added this element that is lower cases of this 2 key over here as 22 now i want to remove this so how do we remove this we have to use the remove method so again we are going to use the object name that is lhm linked hash map followed by dot and then we have something called as remove and we have to use the same key so guys again it is case sensitive over here i am just going to copy this key that is lowercase 2 and then i am going to paste this over here so i'll paste this over here and then after this let's say i want to print the content of the linked hash map so i'll provide the linked hash map content over here after removing the key that is lowercase 2 let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see 1 3 2 equal to 2 and 4 equal to 4 now this 2 equal to 22 has been removed in this case that's because we have used the remove method in order to remove the value and that particular key as well so guys in this way we can easily perform all these actions that is from creating to adding accessing replacing and removing the elements in the linked hash map now guys what is the main difference between the hash map and a linked hash map so the very first thing that i already told you this linked hash map uses double linked list internally so it is going to use more memory compared to the hash map that we had used previously apart from that it preserves the order in which the elements are added to the linked hash map so as you can see we added first one and then we have three two four and then two and in similar way all the elements were printed in this way so it was one first then we have three two four and then two so guys this order is preserved in the linked hash map but not in hash map so guys let us change this linked hash map to a hash map now and see what the output will be so i am just going to remove this linked word over here and i'll just provide the hash map so we are going to use the hash map class over here i'll just copy and paste this over here the same hash map and then let me just save this file and try running this code so before running this code as you can see the order in which the elements were added is preserved and in the same order the elements were printed over here now let us see what happens in the hash map now i'll just run this code for you so as you can see 1 3 2 4 and then 2 but over here you can see 1 is first and then 4 is being printed but 4 was added at the fourth position so the order is not being preserved over here next element is 2 so 2 was added over here and then we have 2 again which was added last and then 3 again which was added as the second element over here now guys let me just remove these lines of code that is replacing and removing all these content so that we will see it doesn't have any impact on how the elements are being printed so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see we have 1 and then we have 4 
two, two, and then three. So guys, it doesn't have any impact irrespective whether we are using the replace or the remove methods over here. But the hash map class doesn't preserve the sequence of elements that were added over here. So the same sequence in which you add the elements will not necessarily be printed in the same sequence over here as you can see in the console. So this you have to keep in mind that linked hash map will preserve the sequence in which the elements were added and also it is going to use some extra memory compared to this hash map class. So guys that's it in this video. Please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well. The next video that we are going to talk about is Java weak hash map class with the help of examples. So stay tuned.